What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another unboxing video and today I'm going to be unboxing another laser that I got off of eBay uh, and I purchased this particular laser uh, for about $12 with free shipping. Uh, the interesting thing about this particular laser is the fact that it is infrared uh, which essentially means the laser beam is invisible to the naked eye uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, it is also a 5MW, uh, so it's the normal range of power. Uh, so yes, let's go ahead and open it up. And of course, I have already cut the package to make the unboxing process a little quicker and easier. Let's go ahead and kind of dump everything out here. Um, okay, so we have the standard charger, so it does come with a charger. Uh, and then here is the laser and the rechargeable battery. Okay, so, okay, so here is the rechargeable battery. It is the standard uh, battery that most of these particular lasers use. Uh, and this one is the Ultra Fire 3.7 volt rechargeable lithium ion. Uh, and here is the laser itself. Uh, it has the same design as the other lasers that I have. Uh, recently unboxed within the past few months. Um, it's got a nice design though. It's got some nice weight to it as well. Uh, it is entirely encased in metal, um, so it's going to be really durable for those of you that need it to be that durable as well. Um, it is also focusable, so you have the focusing wheel here, so you can. It's kind of stuck. Okay, there we go. So you could turn it and adjust the focus uh, depending on what your needs are. If you want to focus it into a tight beam so you can burn stuff or anything like that uh, so yeah and then it also comes with a little wrist strap of course so you don't drop it um, but yeah so let's go ahead and put the battery in <clears throat> okay let me put this here all right all right so let's sure that's uh, on there quite snug so it doesn't uh, have a loose connection because this these lasers do have a tendency to have a loose connection if the uh, battery cap is not on all the way so you want to make sure that's kind of tight on there to make sure it works okay so now we're not going to actually be able to see the laser beam because like I said uh, you cannot see the beam with the naked eye and uh, uh, video cameras uh, that have an IR filter built in will also not be able to pick up the laser beam. Um, but cameras that do not have an IR filter should be able to see the beam perfectly, uh, which I'm kind of interested to try out. Uh, but the camera that I'm using for this video has an IR filter on it, so unfortunately we will not be able to see the laser beam when I turn it on. Um, so, but the real way to know is to have a camera if with the IR filter um, off or doesn't have one. Um, yeah, see, we cannot actually see the beam. And you do not want to point this anywhere near uh, someone's eye or your own eye, or rather at a camera for that matter, because for because of the fact that you can't actually see the laser beam, um, your eyes will not be able to know whether or not a laser is being shined at it, so you might be doing unknown damage to your eye without actually knowing it. Uh, so it's kind of a dangerous thing to be messing with uh, an IR infrared laser uh, because of that reason. Um, so if you do intend on purchasing one of these, which I do recommend, uh, but I just really recommend being really careful with it. But if you do um, in, intend on picking one of these up, um, I would highly, highly suggest picking up a pair of infrared um, protection glasses. Um, so you can just make sure your eyes are protected uh, from the laser beam and everything like that. And like I said, you don't also do not want to point it at a camera because, again, uh, the laser may be doing um, damage that is not uh, known. Uh, essentially, if you point a laser directly at a camera lens, it'll burn it, which is really, really not good, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, those are some notes about that. But yeah, this is a pretty cool laser. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing video. 
make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there. Uh, hit that like button as well. It's much appreciated. And if you guys have any questions or comments, I'll leave those in the section below. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Um, and I will leave a link in the description uh, to this particular laser if you guys are interested. Uh, so yes, uh, with that being said, hope you guys have once again enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.